Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to solve the differential equation using variation of parameters method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve y double dash minus 4 y dash plus 4 y equal to 8 x square e power 2 x sine 2 x or d square minus 4 d plus 4 into y equal to 8 x square e power 2 x sine 2 x using variation of parameters method. We are given a differential equation of order 2. Given differential equation. y double dash minus 4y dash plus 4y equal to 8x square e power 2x sine 2x. Consider as equation 1. Now, we can write y double dash as d square y by dx square minus 4 into write y dash as dy by dx plus 4y equal to 8x square e power 2x sine 2x. Now we'll write d square y by dx square as capital D square y minus 4 into write dy by dx as capital dy plus 4y equal to 8x square e part 2x sine 2x where d is a differential operator. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get d square minus 4d plus 4 into y equal to 8x square e part 2x sine 2x. Consider it as equation number 2, which is an operator form. Equation 1 in operator form is our equation 2. Say f of d into y equal to some function of x. Where f of d is d square minus 4d plus 4. And r of x is 8x square e power 2x sine 2x. Right? Let's now write the homogeneous equation of equation 2. The homogeneous equation of 2 is d square minus 4d plus 4 into y equal to 0. Consider as equation number 3. Now, we will find solution to this homogeneous equation using the auxiliary equation and later using the solution of homogeneous equation, we will find the general solution of equation 1 and equation 2. Now, coming to the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of d, d square minus 4d plus 4, right? Let's replace the differential operator d by m, so that we'll get f of m equal to m square minus 4m plus 4, and the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 4 equals to 0. Now, we need to find roots to this equation, so we can write 4m as 2 times 2m plus 4 as 2 square, which is an expansion of m minus 2 whole square, right? We can write it as m minus 2 into m minus 2 equal to 0. Now, equate each factor to 0. If m minus 1, it's m minus 2, right? It's an expansion of m minus 2 whole square. And we can write m minus 2 whole square as m minus 2 into m minus 2. Equate each factor to 0. If m minus 2 equals to 0, then we will get m equal to 2. Right? Since m minus 2 is repeating twice, so we will get m equal to 2, 2. Therefore, m equal to 2, 2. The roots are real and equal. We got repeated roots otherwise. We know that when two roots, say m1 and m2, are real and equal, then the solution to our homogeneous equation looks like one constant plus another constant into x into e power equal root into x. Here I'm taking C3, C4 instead of C1 and C2 because I want C1 and C2 to appear in the last general solution. Right? Now coming to the solution to our homogeneous equation. The solution to the homogeneous equation
equation 3 is y equal to c3 plus c4 x into e power repeated root into x or c3 plus c4 x into e power 2 x or you can just write it as c3 e power 2 x plus c4 x e power 2 x okay let y equal to just replace the constants of parameters with functions of x a a and b we'll get y equal to a e power 2 x plus b x e power 2 x be the general solution to our problem that is 1 and 2 equations where a and b are functions of x okay now you can compare this solution with y equal to some c3u plus c4v or this thing with au plus bv will get u and b where u is e power 2x and v is x e power 2x c u is e power 2x v is x e power 2x and here we are going to find a dash using minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v1 and b dash is given by u into r of x by u v1 minus v1 if you notice you are having u v1 minus v1 in both the formula so we'll begin with u v1 minus v1 and later we'll find a dash a b dash b and finally we'll write the general solution using y equal to a e power 2x plus bx e power 2x by substituting a and b in it here v1 is nothing but derivative of v with respect to x minus v into derivative of v1 sorry u1 is nothing but derivative of u with respect to x right now substitute u and v here e power 2x into derivative of v with respect to x minus v into derivative of u with respect to x here we are having two functions so we need to find derivative of two functions that is product of two functions so we are going to apply u v whole dash formula u dash v plus v dash u right consider x as u and e power to x as v then we'll get derivative of u with respect to x into e power 2x plus derivative of v into u x minus x e power 2x into derivative of u power 2x with respect to x is 2 e power 2x right this gives us e power 2x of derivative of x with respect to x is 1 into e power 2x plus derivative of e power 2x with respect to x is 2 e power 2x into x minus 2 x e power 2x into e power 2x right we'll get 1 into e power 2x is e power 2x plus 2 e power 2x into x is 2x e power 2x minus 2x e power 2x into e power 2x this becomes e power 2x into e power 2x plus 2x e power 2x into e power 2x minus 2x e power 2x into e power 2x since we know that e power 2x into e power 2x can be written as e power 2x whole square or e power 2x plus 2x which is e power 4x right just replace e power 2x into e power 2x with e power 4x this gives us e power 4x plus plus 2x e power 4x minus 2x e power 4x so here plus e 2x e power 4x and minus 2x e power 4x gets cancelled and you'll get e power 4x therefore 
u v1 minus v1 equal to e power 4x. Now we'll find a dash using minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v1. We have v and r of x, right? Where v is x e power 2x and r of x is 8 x square e power 2x sine 2x by u v1 minus v1 is e power 4x. This gives us minus x, okay, we'll get minus 8 x into x square x cube e power 2x into e power 2x e power 4x sine 2x by e power 4x, right? Now cancel e power 4x, we'll get minus 8x cubed sine 2x. Therefore, a dash equal to minus 8x cubed sine 2x. Let's now find a using a dash. We have a dash equal to minus 8x cubed sine 3x. Sorry, it's 2x. A dash is nothing but derivative of a with respect to x. Equal to minus 8x cubed sine 2x. Now let's separate the variables by taking the differential dx to RHS. Then we'll get dA equal to minus 8x cubed sine 2x dx. So here the variables are separable, right? Now let's perform integration. Let's evaluate integral x cubed sine 2x dx now. Let's evaluate integral x cubed sine 2x. Okay. Here we are going to apply integration by parts formula. Integral u dv equal to uv minus integral v du. Here our integrand is of the product of polynomial and trigonometric function. Right? We'll consider the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as dv. Then we'll have u equal to x cube and dv equal to sine 2x dx. Right? Now differentiate on both sides. With respect to x, we'll get d by dx equals to derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square. From this, we'll get du equal to 3x square dx, right? And here, we'll integrate to find v. This gives us v equal to since we know that integral sine ax dx equals to minus 1 by a cos ax. So for a equal to 2, we'll get minus 1 by 2 cos 2x, right? Now, let's apply the formula. Integral u dv equal to u into v minus integral v into du. 3x squared dx, right? This gives us minus x cubed by 2 cos 2x minus into minus plus. Now write the constants outside the integral. 3 by 2 is our constant. So let's write it outside the integral. We'll get 3 by 2 integral x squared cos 2x dx, right? Now we need to evaluate integral x squared cos 2x dx. So we got integral x cubed sine to x dx equals to minus x cubed by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 2 integral x square cos 2x dx, right? Let's evaluate integral x square cos 2x dx now. So 
Here also we are going to apply integration by parts formula and the integrand is of polynomial product of polynomial and trigonometric function. So let's take the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as dv. We have u equal to x square and dv equal to cos 2x dx. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get derivative of u with respect to x equals to derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. From this we'll get du equal to 2x dx, right? And here we'll integrate on both sides to find v. This gives us v equal to integral cos ax dx is 1 by a sin ax. For a equal to 2, we'll get 1 by 2 sin a, that is 2x. Now apply the formula integral u dv equal to uv u into v minus integral v into du 2x dx. This gives us x square by 2 sin 2x minus write the constant. So here we can cancel 2, right? We'll get integral x sin 2x dx. Now, we got integral x square cos 2x dx equals to x square by 2 sin 2x minus integral x sin 2x dx, right? Let's substitute in this, which gives us 3 by 2 of x square by 2 sin 2x minus integral x sin 2x dx, right? Or we can write this as minus x cube by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 2 into x square by 2 sin 2x is 3 by 2 to the 4 x square sin 2x plus into minus minus 3 by 2 integral x sin 2x dx. Now let's evaluate integral x sin 2x dx. Here also we are going to apply integration by parts formula and the integrand is of product of polynomial and trigonometric function. Right? Consider the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as dv. We have u equal to x and dv equal to sin 2x dx, right? Differentiate on both sides with respect to x, which gives us du by dx equals to derivative of x with respect to x is 1, which gives us du equal to dx, right? Now here we are going to integrate on both sides to find v, which gives us v equal to Integral sin 2x dx, since we know that integral sin ax dx is minus 1 by a cos ax, then for a equal to 2, we'll have minus 1 by 2 cos 2x. Now let's apply the formula. Integral u dv equal to u into v minus integral v into du, which is dx. Okay, that gives us minus x by 2 cos 2x minus into minus plus, write the constant 1 by 2 outside the integral, we'll have 1 by 2 integral cos 2x, right? It uses minus x by 2 cos 2x plus 1 by 2 into integral cos 2x dx is 1 by 2 sin 2x, right? which gives us minus x by 2 cos 2x plus 1 by 4 sin 2x. Before, integral x sin 2x dx equals to minus x by 2 cos 2x plus 1 by 4 sin 2x, right? Now let's replace integral x sin 2x dx with minus x by 2 cos 2x plus 1 by 4 sin 2x. This gives us minus x cubed by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 4 
x square sin 2x minus 3 by 2 or integral x sin 2x dx is minus x by 2 cos 2x plus 1 by 4 sin 2x, right? That gives us minus x cube by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 4 x square sin 2x minus into minus plus 3x by 2 to the 4 cos 2x minus into minus sorry minus into plus minus 3 by 2 into 1 by 4 is 3 by 2 4 is the right sin 2x. Therefore integral x cube sin 2x dx equal to minus x cube by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 4 x square sin 2x plus 3x by 4 cos 2x minus 3 by 8 sin 2x. Since integral x cube sin 2x dx is equals to minus x cube by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 4 x square sin 2x plus 3 x by 4 cos 2x minus 3 by 8 sin 2x. The above equation becomes just replace integral. I mean the result obtained from this integral in the above equation. Integral d is a equal to minus 8 times minus x cube by 2 cos 2x plus 3 by 4 x square sin 2x plus 3x by 4 cos 2x minus 3 by 8 sin 2x. This gives us minus into minus plus 8 x cube by 2 cos 2x minus into plus minus 8 into 3 by 4 x square sin 2x minus into plus minus 8 into 3x by 4 cos 2x minus into minus plus 8 into 3 by 8 sin 2x right this gives us x cube cos 2x minus 2 3 is a 6 x square sin 2x minus 6 3x cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x say I forgot to write integral constant so write plus c1 okay fine Therefore, a equal to 4x cube cos 2x minus 6x square sin 2x minus 6x cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x plus c1. We got a and now we need to find b dash and b. b dash is given by u into r of x by uv1 minus v1 u e power 2x into r of x is 8x square e power 2x sin 2x by uv1 minus v1 is e power 4x this equals to 8x square e power 2x into e power 2x is e power 4x sin 2x by e power 4x here e power 4x gets cancelled and we will get b dash equal to 8x square sin 2x. We got b dash, right? Let's now find b using this. We have b dash equals to 8x square sin 2x. b dash is nothing but derivative of b with respect to x. Let's now separate the variables by taking differential dx to RHS. We'll get db equal to 8x square sin 2x dx. Here the variables are separable. 
So let's perform integration here. Now we need to evaluate integral x square sine 2x. Integral x square sine 2x dx. Here we are going to use or apply integration by parts formula. Integral u dv equal to uv minus integral vd. The integrand is of product of polynomial and trigonometric function form, right? We'll consider the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as dv. We have u equal to x square and dv equal to sine 2x dx, right? Now differentiate u on both sides to with respect to x. This gives us derivative of u with respect to x equals to derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x which gives us du equal to 2x dx and here we are going to integrate on both sides to find b this gives us v equal to since we know that integral sine ax dx equal to minus 1 by a cos ax so we'll get for a equal to 2 integral sine 2x dx is minus 1 by 2 cos 2x right now apply the formula we'll get integral u dv equal to u into v u into v minus integral v du 2x dx 2 gets cancelled and we'll get minus x square cos 2x by 2 minus into minus plus x cos 2x integral x cos 2x dx right now let's find integral x cos 2x dx we got integral x square sine 2x dx is equal to minus x square by 2 cos 2x plus integral x cos 2x dx right we'll find integral x cos 2x dx now integral x cos 2x dx. Here also the integrand is of the form product of polynomial and trigonometric function. We'll consider the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as dv. So we have u equal to x and dv equal to cos 2x dx. Now integrate on, sorry, differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get du by dx equal to derivative of x with respect to x is 1. This gives us du equal to dx. And here integrate on both sides to find b. This gives us b equal to integral cos 2x dx. Since we know that integral cos ax dx is 1 by a sine ax, then for a equal to 2, we'll have 1 by 2 sine 2x, right? Now just apply the formula. We'll get integral x cos 2x dx that is u dv equal to uv u into v minus integral v du which gives us x by 2 sine 2x minus 1 by 2 integral sine 2x dx right this equals to x by 2 sin 2x minus 1 by 2 into integral sin 2x dx then for a equal to 2 we'll have integral sin 2x dx is minus 1 by 2 cos 2x which gives us x by 2 sin 2x plus 1 by 4 cos 2x right therefore integral x cos 2x dx equals to x by 2 it's 2 sin 2x plus 1 by 4 cos 2x. Therefore, integral x cos 2x dx equal to x by 2 sin 2x plus 1 by 4 cos 2x. Now replace integral x cos 2x with this. Then we'll get minus x square by 2 cos 2x 
plus x by 2 sin 2x plus 1 by 4 cos 2x. Therefore, integral x squared sin 2x dx equal to minus x squared by 2 cos 2x plus x by 2 sin 2x plus 1 by 4 cos 2x. Since integral x square sine 2 x dx equals to minus x square cos 2 x by 2 plus x sine 2 x by 2 plus cos 2 x by 4, let's replace integral with this. Then the above equation becomes integral dv b equal to 8 times minus x square cos 2 x by 2 plus x sine 2 x by 2 plus cos 2 x by 4. plus integral constant say c2. This gives us minus 8 by 2 x square cos 2x plus 8 by 2 x sine 2x plus 8 by 4 cos 2x plus c2. Right? We'll get minus 4 x square cos 2x plus 4 x sine 2x plus 2 cos 2x plus c2. Therefore, b equal to minus 4 x square cos 2x plus 4 x sine 2x plus 2 cos 2x plus c2. We got b and a. So let's find general solution using y equal to a e power 2x plus bx e power 2x. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to a e power 2x plus bx e power 2x. Substitute a and b here. 4x cube cos 2x minus 6x square sine 2x minus 6x cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x plus c1 into e power 2x plus b minus 4x square cos 2x plus 4x sine 2x plus 2 cos 2x plus c2 into x e power 2x. Right? This gives us 4, just multiply all the 5 terms with e power 2x and all the 4 term with 4 terms with x e power 2x. Okay? We'll get 4x cube e power 2x cos 2x minus 6x square e power 2x sine 2x minus 6x e power 2x sine it's sorry cos 2x plus 3 e power 2x sine 2x plus c1 e power 2x plus into minus minus 4 x square into x x cube e power 2x cos 2x plus 4 x into x x square e power 2x sine 2x plus 2 x e power 2x cos 2x plus c2 x e power 2x. Here 4x cube e power 2x cos 2x and minus 4x cube e power 2x cos 2x gets cancelled. Now write the terms involving see it's x square not x cube sorry. Now write the terms involving x square e power 2x sine 2x 
okay we'll get minus 6 x square e power 2x sine 2x plus 4 x square e power 2x sine 2x now write the terms involving x e power 2x cos 2x we'll get minus 6 x e power 2x cos 2x plus 2x e power 2x cos 2x and now write the remaining terms plus 3 e power 2x sin 2x plus c1 e power 2x plus c2 x e power 2x this gives us minus 6 x square e power 2x sin 2x and plus 4 x square e power 2x sin x is minus 2 x square e power 2x sin 2x minus 6 x e power 2x cos 2x plus 2 x e power 2x cos 2x is minus 4 x e power 2x cos 2x plus 3 e power 2x sin 2x right plus c1 e power 2x plus c2 x e power 2x now take minus e power 2x common from the first three terms we'll get minus e power 2x times 2x square sin 2x plus 4x cos 2x minus 3 sin 2x now take e power 2x common from the last two terms we'll get e power 2x times c1 plus c2x right or we can just write this as c1 plus c2x into e power 2x minus e power 2x times 2x square sin 2x plus 4x cos 2x minus 3 sin 2x okay therefore y equal to c1 plus c2x e power 2x minus e power 2x times 2x square sin 2x plus 4x cos 2x minus 3 sin 2x is the required solution to our problem so we have seen a problem from variation of parameters method in this video i hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video bye bye